I wanted to share with you uh, my KPI sheet that we use here in our agency and I really wanted to share that how your results can be deceiving if you're not really looking at the whole picture all right so we've got the month of March right here right we got about 491 leads 160 set appointments sets and 29 closed deals 29 sales um, so if you can see we've got goal percentages so we've we're we're closing at about 16% from a lead to from a click to a lead and our goal is to hit 25% we are closing at about 33% from a lead to a set our goal is to hit 50% and then of course um, we're selling at about uh, 18% and our goal is to hit 20% amount spent cost per lead cost per set cost per close um, uh, return on ad spend percentage so we have a rule if we have a ROAS of about uh, at least 400% we're going to double the budget by 200% um, if we have ROAS about 600%, we're going to triple the budget. And if we have ROAS by 800%, we're going to quadruple the budget in variations. All right, so what I wanted to show with you is most people don't look at this. They, most people and even agencies are just looking at this, this one field here, this cost per lead. They wanted to know how many leads you're getting and what's the cost. That's it. So they only use one KPI metric. So what we normally do is we always look at all of our KPI metrics because sometimes it changes. Um, so based on March's results, he didn't hit his goals, and that's okay. We uh, went into exactly what we were wanting to do so that we can hit our April goals. He made the necessary changes, and you can kind of see where we are with April. Now, April is a little different. Notice that he's getting less leads so he's at 10% now not 16% that means out of this amount of clicks he got only 194 um, leads so that's 10% however notice how his appointments are his appointments went through the roof as far as the changes that he made that we made into his funnel that allowed him to get a 73% um, close rate on a set that has dramatically increased and then his closed deals also went up by 1% um, we got more sets more closed deals so he's looking really good as far as hitting his targets he ain't going to necessarily hit his lead targets and that's fine with him his number one goal is to hit his closed deal target which is a sales target and he's 1% shy of, of reaching that so we're looking really good here um, ideally this is what I wanted to show you notice his cost per lead got more expensive for April but his cost per set appointment his cost per appointment we call it cost per set got cheaper cost per close got significantly cheaper so ROAS 1200% if I was just a normal amateur agency I wouldn't look at this I would just be looking at this and I'm thinking wow the cost per lead went up a little bit I should try to make changes to drop it and now if I'm dropping this cost per lead because that's the only thing I'm focusing on my cost per set might get more expensive my cost per close might get more expensive and I will not get the amount of closed deals that I want because I made wrong decisions here and that's what I wanted to share with you you've got to understand how to look at 
all of your metrics, not just leads. You want to look at um, sets. If you're using sets or if you're e-com at the carts, if you're using at the carts, or if you have a webinar model, um, attendees. So obviously, e-com is normally product views, at the carts, checkouts, um, webinar model, uh, regist webinar registrations, attendees, and then uh, whether you're closing on the webinar or setting on the webinar. And then, of course, um, the consultation model, which is leads, sets, closed deals. Um, so you got to understand, you got to read your metrics. This KPI sheet, I'm offering it to you. Um, if you're interested, just click the link below this video. If it, there is a link below, or click it above this video if there is above, and I'll be happy to give it to you.